Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here, and welcome to Darksiders 3. If you guys have been following my coverage this week, then you'll know that I've been over in Germany for Gamescom. I got back yesterday, but I've still got stuff to share with you. Gameplay that I recorded whilst at the show, and one of those games is Darksiders 3. The demo itself is around 10 to 15 minutes long, and in this gameplay, it's actually the developers playing. I had a chance to sit down with them, chat about the game, learn a bit about what's new in number three, all whilst they showed me the game in action. So for the most part, I'm going to let you guys enjoy the gameplay for yourself, but I do want to kick this off by setting the scene a little bit and telling you a bit about Darksiders 3. If you do enjoy this video, then like would be super appreciated, and be sure to comment down below. Let me know what you think. Are you Darksiders fans? Have you played the previous ones? Let me know. Also, if you haven't already entered our giveaway for the God of War PS4 Pro, then there's still a week to go, so the link to the competition is in the description box down below. Now, first and foremost, the events of Darksiders 3 essentially take place in parallel to the events of the previous games, only this time you take on the role of Fury, sister of war and one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, where the other horsemen have been much more, say, brawl focused, get up and smash things in the face, Fury is a mage and she excels at picking off her targets from afar. In Darksiders 3, the earth is now overrun by the seven deadly sins and the mythical creatures that serve them. The Charred Council have called upon Fury to help restore the balance, whilst proving that she's also the most powerful of the horsemen. Tracking down the Seven Deadly Sins will see you unlock new abilities, and the way that you discover them will be somewhat random or different for each person. See, Darksiders 3 doesn't have a mini-map, so you won't just put a marker on the next Deadly Sin and go and follow the waypoint. Instead, the way you navigate the world are through large, notable landmarks. An example of this in the demo is the Giant Tree. It's something you can see from anywhere on the map, and you can use these as points of reference. So if you do want to go to the center of the tree, you look up, you find it, and you head in that direction. That means along the way you'll discover things differently, and it also means you might discover the sins in different orders to other people, and their abilities might then make other fights easier. So there is a degree of freedom, and also a degree of strategy to it. It might well be that, say, you discuss it with your friends, and you say, hey, I got this sin before fighting this one, and it made the fight a lot easier. Meanwhile, some other people might struggle if they haven't got that ability. So, you know, there's a degree of conversation to be had there. Combat itself will feel familiar if you've played Darksiders games before, but naturally the way you engage your foes will alter based on Fury's unique movesets. So for the time being, that is pretty much it. That's a little bit of context as to what you'll be seeing in this demo. In the gameplay, we'll be battling one of the sins. Naturally, the process of getting there has been sped up a little bit for the sake of the demo, but this will show you how it all plays out. So let me know what you think and enjoy the rest of this. Humans, haven, everything here. Mine. Move on, horseman, or ye be mine too. I'm on a mission. Ah. Protecting humans? Humans think creation favors them. They are apes crawling through dirt. <laughs> Quite the grudge you're carrying. Oh, I don't want to. Humanity is tragically overrated. I am not here for them. I'm all yours. No! Yeah. 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 
Don't you get it? What's mine is mine! I did. This talisman. It's a vessel. Envy used it to hold energies from the rest of the Seven. It will make a fitting prison for the others once their physical forms have been broken. If I may, there is a... Well, a sort of hum emanating from the talisman. That glow... Will indicate when one of the Seven is nearby, I know. So wise, you are all that the Council promised, Mistress. I'm beginning to enjoy the sound of your voice, Watcher. in my duties if I didn't point out that even with the talisman, locating the other deadly sins will prove a challenge. Finding envy was easy enough. That was a gift. One I would not count on receiving twice. Envy was also by far the weakest of the deadly sins. Anything else to add? Only what I assume you already know. The armies of both heaven and hell have cordoned off the world of man into various areas of influence. Look around us. The upheaval we have seen is the very personification of the struggle between order and chaos. You have set for yourself an unenviable task, given these environs. That's what makes it fun. The other sins are hiding across this shattered world. They strike at angels and demons alike in their own selfish bids for power. Their hubris will lead me right to them. Perhaps. But you will need assistance. Whatever I need, I will take, Watcher. I knew that war would one day unleash all this, but seeing it, <laughs> his gifts are impressive. May I remind your mistress that you have no fear on your horsemen. Oh, my God. 
Not my concern, Motto. That's free. It's impressive. It is a maker tree. Most likely we will find refuge there.